welcome to Wicked Majesty. Greetings. Kia Reed here, your guide through the twisted tales of the Wicked Majesty channel. Welcome to the fifth day of terror in the Holiday Nights of Terror series. Today we unwrap two bone chilling Christmas horror stories, The Unseen Elf and The Christmas Creatures, narrated by Anthony Cook and Helena Decker. First up in the peaceful town of Harmonyville, Christmas takes a sinister turn as children disappear one by one. The culprit, an unseen elf seeking revenge. Join the terrified townsfolk as they set a trap on Christmas Eve, hoping to catch this malevolent creature and bring back their lost loved ones. Then prepare yourself for the Christmas creatures. In a quiet town of Harmonyville, festive stockings hold a horrifying secret. As the clock strikes midnight, grotesque versions of beloved pets emerge, seeking revenge. Watch as townsfolk unravel an ancient legend to confront these monstrous entities and restore peace to their Christmas night. Hit that subscribe button, gather your courage, and join me here read on the Wicked Majesty channel. It's time to unveil the fifth day of terror in the Holiday Nights of Terror series. May your nightmares be wicked and your holidays be haunted. As the story begins, we're introduced to a small, peaceful town named Harmonyville. It's Christmas Eve, and the town is buzzing with holiday cheer. Families are decorating their homes, children are playing in the snow, and everyone is eagerly awaiting Santa's arrival. However, strange things start happening. A half-eaten cookie is found on a plate left out for Santa. An ornament is misplaced, and toys are moved from their places. At first, these incidents are dismissed as pranks or the work of a mischievous pet. But then, the unthinkable happens. Children start disappearing one by one. The town is thrown into chaos. Parents are frantic. The police are baffled, and fear starts to replace the festive spirit. The only clue they have is the eerie signs left behind. The half-eaten cookies, the misplaced ornaments, and the moved toys. A local legend resurfaces. A tale about an unseen elf who visits homes on Christmas Eve. According to the legend, the elf was once a helper of Santa, who turned evil after being banished from the North Pole. Now, they seek revenge by taking away what Santa loves most, the children. The townsfolk are terrified, but determined to save their children. They decide to set a trap for the unseen elf. On the next Christmas Eve, they leave out a special cookie laced with a sleeping potion. As the night falls, the town waits in silence. Hours pass, and just when they start losing hope, they hear a small thud. Rushing to the scene, they find a small figure lying unconscious, the Unseen Elf. With the elf captured, the town breathes a sigh of relief, but their joy is short-lived as the children are still missing. In desperation, they plead with the elf to return the children. The elf agrees, but on one condition. 
They must promise to tell Santa the truth about why they were banished. The townsfolk agree, and one by one, the children start reappearing. The town is filled with joyous reunions and tearful apologies. True to their word, they send a message to Santa, telling him about the elf's deeds and their promise. As the story ends, we see Santa reading the message with a sad expression. He looks at a picture of the elf, his old friend, and whispers, I'm sorry. The screen fades to black, leaving the viewers with a chilling reminder of the unseen elf and the horrifying Christmas Eve in Harmonyville. This tale of the unseen elf serves as a chilling reminder that not all Christmas stories are filled with joy and laughter. Some carry a dark twist that can turn a festive night into a nightmare. Christmas Creatures Once upon a time, in the quiet town of Harmonyville, a strange event occurred. It was Christmas Eve and all the houses were adorned with twinkling lights and festive decorations. In each home, stockings were hung by the fireplace awaiting Santa's arrival. But this year, something was different. As the clock struck midnight, the stockings began to twitch and squirm. Out of them emerged creatures, grotesque versions of beloved pets that had passed away. They'd come back, not for a joyful reunion, but for revenge. The first house belonged to the Johnson family. Their old dog, Max, who had been a loyal companion for years, was now a snarling beast. Its eyes glowed red in the dim light, and it growled menacingly at the family members, who watched in horror. In the next house, the Smiths faced their old cat, Whiskers. Once a fluffy and playful creature, it was now a hissing monster, its fur standing on end, claws sharp as razors. Each family in Harmonyville woke up to a similar nightmare. The creatures caused chaos, destroying decorations and terrorizing the families. People tried to escape, but the creatures were too fast, blocking every exit. As fear gripped the town, an elderly resident named Mrs. Green remembered an old legend. It spoke of a spell that could send vengeful spirits back to the afterlife. The spell required a symbol of love and a heartfelt plea for peace. With no other options, the townsfolk gathered at the town square. Each person brought a cherished item, a child's drawing, a family heirloom, a handwritten letter. They held hands, forming a large circle around the monstrous creatures. Mrs. Green led them in reciting the spell. As they spoke the words, the items in their hands began to glow. The light spread, enveloping the creatures. One by one, they transformed back into their old forms. Max wagged his tail, and Whiskers purred softly. With a final burst of light, the creatures vanished, leaving behind only their beloved memories. The townsfolk sighed in relief, their town safe once again. From that Christmas onwards, Harmonyville had a new tradition. Every year, they would gather at the town square, holding symbols of love and recite the spell. Not out of fear, but to remember the importance of love and peace during the holiday season. And so, the tale of the Christmas creatures became a chilling reminder of the power of revenge, the strength of unity, and the magic of Christmas. chilling journey through all seven days of terror in the Holiday Nights of Terror series. If tonight's story sent shivers down your spine, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the Wicked Majesty channel, and turn on the notification bell. Stay wicked, stay haunted, and I'll see you on the next dark tale on the Wicked Majesty channel. Until then, sleep tight and don't let the shadows bite.